Thanks for stopping by the summit today. And as always, we appreciate you visiting Midwest Sports Net's YouTube channel. I'm Joey McWilliams. It is a privilege today to get to visit with the head women's basketball coach at Clark, Coach Courtney Boyd. And coach, your team, the Pride, is stepping into this new season with some accolades already. At least the folks around you in the conference think you're going to do a good job this year. And you were tabbed to be the preseason favorite in the Hart Conference poll. Number one, coming off a 25-7 and seven season last year. Talk about that. Uh, wow. That, to be honest with you, that's the first time that Clark women's basketball in the heart of America has ever been put at the top. So a little bit of pressure there um, and a little bit of respect, a lot of respect, actually. So with us having a veteran team, we're really looking forward to it. But I think the biggest thing um, for us is just to, to roll. If that's what other people think, then we should think that, too. Well, the bullseye is definitely, you know, on, on your jerseys now this year. And by the way, let me let me address something quickly. If it sounds like that the bullseye is on my studio, it's just because it's a really windy day. So please get past some of the noise that's going on around me right now. That having been said, though, it, it's uh, understandable that you would uh, be picked up or near the top of the preseason poll there in the conference because, again, you, you had a great season last year. We didn't get to see just how far you could go because of – of 2020 and and it is what it is i think we're all used to it now but you return some upperclassmen including mckinney hossie and Morgan pitts talk about them and, and some of this these upperclassmen that you're bringing back uh they're awesome <laughs> they're a great group the minutes that mckenna hossie and morgan pitts have played combined uh are breaking records within itself um they have played over 20 minutes a game since their freshman year. And now that they're seniors, that's just an expectation. Uh, they don't look over to the bench anymore and say, coach, I'm tired. They look at me when I'm subbing them out saying, why am I coming out? Um, they just easy people to follow, great people to have as leaders. And I think the, the biggest thing for those two is they did get the end of the season tournament taken away from them last year, as a lot of people did, uh, but it made them a little bit more hungry this year, and they're very excited for that. Well, you know what? That, that's something, too, that, that warrants attention because, uh, you, you know, you didn't get the chance to make that national noise. However, uh, you are getting some national recognition as well. You know, we talked about the top of the preseason poll there in the heart, but number 13 in the country in the NAI national poll, and that's with the two divisions now coming together. For, uh, for one big poll, so you're uh, in the top 20 there as well. Yes, um, again, our our two two main veterans, um, we have a handful, obviously, of people that I can talk about for days with you, but between M McKenna and Morgan, I think they just, they understand what it's going to take, and so I just got a text message when those came out the other day, Coach, did you think we were going to be that high? Um, do you, as, was that an expectation? Do you know where we are? You know, all of these questions, just because the, the best part about those two is that they really want to reflect what we're doing as a coaching staff. Uh, and so they want to know how the coaches feel so they can tell the team how to feel. Um, and they're, they're just about up for anything. So that preseason uh, number 13 did come as a surprise, to be honest with you. Uh, again, a little bit more respect. We're trying to get our, get our name out there. And I've told them, look, we've done it. So now the work that we've put in, uh, we've talked press, pressure is a privilege a lot uh, in the last couple of days. You've worked yourself into this position. You've earned it. So now own it. And those two are very excited to be able to um, compete with, with the best. And hopefully we can sustain that throughout the season. We're speaking now with Coach Courtney Boyd from Clark in her fourth season. And Coach, in each of your previous three seasons, you've had a school record for wins, 20 wins. Three years ago, 23. A couple of years ago, 25 wins last season. I don't know how much longer you can keep this pattern up. Uh, I don't know how much higher you can go. But I, I wanted to to talk about your defense, too, because, you know, that that's a it seemed to be a big part, at least in the last couple of years, that, that the defense has really stepped up and, and uh, giving up less than 62 points per game to your opponents last season. How big a role has your defense been in uh, for a team that's won 40, 48 games in the last two years? Uh, last year, it was huge for us uh, because our conference, the way that our conference is set up and the, the competition that we see every night, 
offense is what it is. You know, you know what you're going to get from McKenna Hazy in the post. You know she's going to give you a drop step. You know she's going to, you know, try to rip through and go to the opposite side with a funky little finish. You know Morgan Pitts is going to knock down a handful of threes and get to the free throw line. So that's easy to scout. Uh, so we had to figure something else out. We switched a few things with our defense. Uh, we put in a little bit more of an active zone. We, we love man. Uh, but throwing that active zone on teams, uh, it made it a little bit harder for them to prepare for us. And we knew as long as we could stick to the game plan offensively, then our defense would put us in a position that that we could probably separate ourselves by a few more points instead of prior years uh, winning you know, at the buzzer every other game, which was stressful enough for us as coaches, let alone the players. So defense has been a big component. Uh, we've started to press a little bit more as well in the last – season uh so we're looking forward to kind of carrying that over to this season one of the things about this season that i think is is amazingly cool is an out of conference game for you all you're going to be taking on our lady of the lake from louisiana and the reason that that's you know a big deal is simply the fact that uh this was the team you were scheduled to play in the national tournament and you didn't get to play that game and uh you know your two institutions decided hey let's play this game anyway so you're going to get to uh, play the game. I think it was originally scheduled for January 1st. Right now it looks like it's on schedule at December 17th. And mm -hmm. it's at a neutral site in Springfield, Missouri. So talk about that and what went into that. Uh, the the first thing was I looked at my coaching staff and I said, do we really want to do this? Uh, is this what we want to do? And do we really want to open the new year with that? Because originally, like you had mentioned, it was January 1st. And you know, we thought, you know what, if we're – if if we are going to have the expectations for this team that we do, then absolutely, this is what we want to do. Uh, we reached out to Our Lady of the Lake and we said, look, we didn't get the opportunity to play. Uh, they're changing the way that they do strength of schedule and different things to get into the national tournament this year. So we thought, what better time than play somebody that you might never see until the national tournament. So then those Raiders can kind of uh, place you where they may. So she thought it was a great, great idea. Uh, neither of us wanted to travel 11 or 12 hours. So we thought, where was the easiest place to go six or seven hours? And Evangel was actually that spot in Springfield. So um, they were, they were fortunate, we were fortunate enough for them to let us kind of use their facility. And uh, from there, it was, it was just, what time is the game and where are we going? Well, then COVID continued to hit. Um, we had a few things change and we wanted to allow ourselves a little bit of time after Christmas for a break just in case with testing and things. So we pushed that back to before Christmas. Uh, and now it's going to be even more, even more of a pressure game because of where it lays in the season right in the middle of conference play. Well, I, it, it was big anyway, but I, I just think it's a really neat thing. And I, I want to give a shout out then to Evangel as well for uh, hosting that, but to both your institutions for putting something like that together. I mean, you just don't see that all the time. And, and as you mentioned, especially right there in the middle of conference play. Well, conference play is right around the corner. And how neat is it for me to be able to say to you and, and you think about it, your first game's in just a couple of weeks. Uh, <laughs> that is so nice to get to talk about right now. And, and uh, you know, even... Uh, knowing that, hey, listen, season opener is not that far away, but uh, you, you have four games out of conference and then the, the hard schedule starts uh, November 18th as uh, you all are going to be, I'm sorry, you all are going to be taking on uh, Mount Mercy on the road uh, with your first conference game. So talk about the opening to your schedule. Uh on the road, on the road, on the road, like you mentioned. Again, I don't know what's wrong with this coaching staff, but we're doing all kinds of crazy things this season. We thought we had ourselves a, a good um, schedule set up, and and our first two games that were supposed to be at home, um, those got taken from the schedule. So now we are on the road, our first six games. We have a really tough matchup with St. Francis uh, right out of the gate. Uh, they were preseason number 16 in the nation. So, again, here we are being crazy coaches, uh, trying to put ourselves in a position just to just to be seen, see what kind of work we have to do before we get to conference. Um, and then we go to Indiana and we play two very tough teams who have also come in their preseason polls, either, you know, in the top three or five of their conference and also in the top 25. Um, and then we open, we we moved the Mount Mercy game. Originally it was supposed to be in January, like you had mentioned, we moved that to uh, November 18th. And then, and that's on the road as well. 
Mount Mercy has a brand new coach, brand new system, so we don't know what to expect. And then on the road at Central Methodist, who is number two, and they've always been top 15 in the nation and very successful at it. So um, we've got to be ready for anything. And like you mentioned, we've got to be ready for anything fast. And so we're just trying to make sure that we have the minimal amount of things that we can and be really good at them early in the season. So by the time that conference play starts, we feel comfortable with a handful of things. And then that's when we'll start to add. And we will be following you and uh, find out uh, just uh, just how much road warriors you are <laughs> to start this new season. But again, the Clark Pride picked at the top of the Hart Conference poll in number 13 in the preseason NAI poll. Coach Courtney Boyd, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the summit. Thank you very much for having me. And of course, all of you for watching, we appreciate you as well. Please do like and share this video and please do subscribe to the channel, Midwest Sportsnet. In the meantime, thanks again. God bless you. Have a great day.